Okay, for this time I'll be um, sober, not drinking anything alcoholic. Ah, just water. To prevent my voice from keeping dry. Um, this video is about um, yeah, all the, the flyers and leaflets I um, I collect from uh, my visit in Japan. I uh, To those who don't know, uh, I do this uh, every year. I just um, kind of grab everything that slightly look interesting. So when I come back home, I uh, can sort it out. For for example, um, anime things uh, evolve at Put it all in uh, orders. Also for for nature and zoos, uh, cultural things, and well, I sort it out. And I, um, if someone uh, asks me something about uh, traveling to Japan, I'll just grab these orders and uh, search for something that uh, might be interesting for this person. Also for myself, of course, when I come back to Japan before I go, I will um, have a look at um, what I've been collecting through the years to see if there's something uh, that I should uh, try out uh, for the next trip. For example, when I've been uh, missing out on it, or when it's my chance to uh, come back to a place where I got uh, a flyer from. So anyway, let's uh, get started. I go quickly through this whole mess of uh, paper uh, massacre. So uh, maybe you can pause it a bit if you want to see a flyer in particular. I'm not gonna go like through all these books. Maybe just only a little bit. There's some things that uh, you know. You, uh, if you see Copic, uh, you know you can just Google it if you want to know more. It you can also in the um, in the comments, uh, ask something if you want to know something, and well, just uh, have a look at uh, all this mess. Copic, I got this from the Kumi um, Cat. It's also always held in the um, the Tokyo Big Side. It's just about Copic markers. I have some, maybe you too. I know. Uh, Tokyo Tower ticket. I don't know what this is. Well, there's also uh, some other things uh, between this, which is not. Uh, for the paper, this is from um, from a zoo. Uh, this is Tokyo Zoo. That's uh, near, well, Hiroshima. It's more like in. Well, it's quite near there. Um, okay, two tra two hours by uh, Shinkansen. Doesn't matter. Aha, these are. Uh, I will use this for my uh, for my denim uh, jacket. This is uh, a coaster from uh, a maid cafe in Akebara. Stickers from um, when I was at the. Tokyo Auto Salon, that's held in the Makihari Messe in uh, Shiba. These are stamps from, um, ah, I see, from Oshima Park, uh, the, um, ah, yes. In Oshima, that's uh, south of Tokyo, there's uh, an island with a zoo and a camilla garden. I got these two stamps. These stamp things is a thing there in uh, in Japan. There's even um, stamp books where you can have uh, your book full with these kind of stamps and write uh, where you got them from. Um, this is probably from the Final Fantasy, from Square Enix Cafe, or I also got this maybe from the um, uh, Comic Cat. This I got from the Comic Cat. Because they don't only do um, the, the manga things, but also lots of other um, um, artist things, you know, like as a coaster from uh, Tokyo Tower. Yeah. Uh, look at this. I don't know. Well, some things I just uh, also just received from uh, people handing out flyers. So sometimes I don't know what it is. A sticker from. Uh, well, maybe you recognize it. It's like with the, um, all these mates with uh, cat ears and cat tails, whatever. This is uh, from Square Enix Cafe. Ah, I know this. It's when you uh, when you buy a drink, you get a random coaster or something like that. And we'll just have a look what it is. From Octopath Traveler. Well, I did open this up uh, there in the store to see what it is. There's like eight or ten different of them to collect. There was a girl sitting um, at the table next to me. And she was like, uh, while I was there ordering one drink and a bit to eat, she was like ordering four drinks to get four of these codes. So she's really into that kind of stuff. This is... Um, Oh, this is uh, someone who does uh, paper crafting, the comic cat, and making really small um, and also bigger uh, like uh, books that you can open, and it's actually like uh, a miniature dollhouse or whatever. I got one of those. It's really amazing. I not have it here now, but uh, well, it doesn't matter. This is um, from a idol group. This is uh, a postcard. Oh, a free postcard. Uh, I remember this from the. Um, 
I don't know which uh, which hostel or hotel it is, but uh, we got a bunch of uh, free postcards. What the hell is this? I don't know. Postcards, lots of them. I do uh, pick out uh, some of those postcards and I put them on the um, on the wall or on the furniture, so I make good use of it. This is a ticket from the Level Up Tokyo Auto Salon. This one actually looks uh, really decent. You know, it has some what's well, kind of both, you know, like car design, like tires, uh, steering wheel, these kind of things. But also, like if you look at it from afar, it's like uh, a skull with a, a samurai helmet. So it's kind of yeah. Someone, some artist did a good job. This is um, from a uh, yeah idol group. I haven't seen them. Um, I presume, oh no, uh, not an art group, but from uh, oh, a bass guitar player, who's really good. It's a girl, she plays, it sounds like Modred or Hawkwind, kind of, without the key, uh, well. From the museum, I'm gonna call some museum, it's really nice. This is my, uh, well, I'm gonna show, well, I can, um, yeah, okay, that's better. <laughs> Normally you have your, your name and your passport number and whatever. Um, the Japan uh, real pass. Which travels, uh, which let me travel um, everywhere with uh, the JR lines, you know, the Shinkansen. Not the nose on me because it's uh, an extra kind of thing. I don't know what this is. Oh damn! This is uh, a bedtime story. That's um, a three-piece. Uh, well, it's kind of a. Well, it's not really an idol group because it's not uh, a typical thing, but you know, it's one. It's it's interesting to see. Same goes, oh, this is, uh, I got two of them. It was a uh, official K band. The, the singer is actually uh, an Italian guy. Uh, I made cafe. Well, I, uh, I just grab any flyer I can get my hands on, even though I don't visit them all, of course. A free postcard, which is very slim from um, Hiroshima, uh, you know, the, the, the atomic bomb uh, museum. This is a singer. Um, I don't know what this is, but uh -huh, well, okay. good. Uh, what, what is the, the night? Is this a night safari? Oh, I don't know. It's a band I've seen in Tokyo. Uh, Kyoto, sorry. I don't know. Yeah, I got a free po uh, picture taken with in the Kyoto Tower. Of I've seen the damn thing like three times, like three years now, but I've never been there inside. But, well, this year I thought like, okay, I can try it out to, to go there. This is from uh, the museum where I uh, showed the other flyer from. It also has, uh, you can visit the castle, you can visit the garden. I saw kingfisher there and some other uh, bird species. This is... Um, a cafe where you can also shoot uh, different arrays of you know BB guns, rifles, pistols, whatever. It's a bit weird. I've never been there, but um, one time I should go there probably. Uh, I don't know what is this. To the next thing, is the verb. This is uh, rub. a maid cafe. What it's kind of like spooky style. It's like you're in a ghost mansion. This is... Uh, uh, I don't know, don't remember. No, Thunder Snake, that's uh, in Atsugi. Well, it's it, it's in southern Tokyo. It's like a lighthouse. It's another ticket from the auto salon because I went uh, two days. A... This is kind of a special sticker. Yeah, because it's like uh, from that particular day in that particular lifehouse for Sendo, Kichiyoji, um, from Kiss the Quartet, second EP, release, whatever. Um, I went there actually for Akara, because they're, in my opinion, um, really good. Um, the other ones, yeah, I saw this one a second time, well, they were also uh, somewhere around this January. Um, yeah, this is a uh, really nice band. This is... Um... Oh, this got signed. Uh -huh. Oh, this is a... I... 
yeah, this is a two uh, two piece um, idol group. Well, they sing like it's like, it's, it's like uh, rock music. This is. Uh, I think these are either postcards or stickers. Oh, these are the stickers because I want to put them on my guitar. Yeah. If, uh, er, one of the guitars is red, so I want like some red, red kind of stickers on it. I think uh, I put them all on it. Uh huh. All right. This is um, ah in uh, this is here. It's in Kyoto, like the one of the the good views while they were doing construction work on it. So it was not so good, but it was good anyway. Guest house wasabi, good place to stay. It's like an old-fashioned uh, capsule hotel, but it's a hostel. I know what is this is. This is um, uh, ah, I remember from um, Lady Baby. Um, there's like this song with uh, with all the money, and they just throw this um, at everybody. And I got uh, one of these too. This is uh, it's empty. There was something inside. This is uh, Rulup. I don't know what it is. How kind of castle museum? Probably postcards from the from the castle or some. Oh, totally destroyed it. But Probably post it's uh, something from the castle or from uh, these dudes. Mm, what is this? Uh huh. Nice. They actually had this on display, you know, so it was really amazing to have a close look at it, even though there was um, glass in between. But it's really amazing. Alright, on to the. A calendar from the Daihatsu Roadshow from the Tokyo Um I don't know. What's this? Probably all the kind of stuff from the uh, uh, comic cats. This is some uh, Super Mario uh, merchandise. Some more for making your Super Mario themed party, I guess. Yes. What's this? This was at the. Um, it's, uh, the Sunshine City Aquarium, that's in Ikebukuru, that's um, a special thing with the deep sea kind of stuff. They were showing um, some interesting uh, things uh, down there. Oh, this is a real flyer, it's, uh, the regular one. This is in English, they have also in, you know, like, um, in Chinese, Korean, maybe in German, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. English was enough for me. It's not too big, but it's... It's really kind of modern, and they have been doing in the outside a lot of construction work two or three years ago. This is um, ah for the insects, Fujifilm. You know these where they make these small Polaroid pictures. Gonna browse quickly through. You know, like they have, have um, different designs. A Hello Kitty. There's also one with uh, Baba Papa, and um, I believe some Disney designs. I like that it's uh, kind of like it's really retro, you know, like it's um, it's not digital, but uh, they also try to step into the digital world by making it um, uh, these prints semi-digital or um, digital um, like 100% where you have to print them out later. It's, I don't like these. I've I've seen the results. It's um, not as good looking as um, the non-digital ones. And this is actually well, they, they still make these these uh, from Fujifilm, the the one use cameras. Well, I didn't know that, but it's also kind of interesting, I guess. Yeah, didn't know that. This is uh, yeah, What's this more Fujifilm stuff, the insects. All right, something with. Uh, Birds, bird story, Herp. something with VR. Um, this is a place where you can experience all these VR things, I guess. Yeah. Not been there, I know it exists. But, you know. And um, yeah, Aquarium from the Sunshine City. This too. You could actually. Um, Touch these giant isopods. Well, not when they are like really big, but you know the the, the, the smaller ones. I have one like uh, that, you know, like crawl over my hands. It's really nice. And some shrimps and a sea cucumber. 
they had these on display like uh, frozen and you can attach them a little bit okay just a bit more oh it's from the nine hours <laughs> you get it every night when you uh, go there it's a capsule hotel from the car I took you Cars, uh, yeah, the, the one with the cars. Even though I'm not really into cars, it's uh, for me it's always interesting to um, have a look. I, mean, I know I like um, being, in, you know, like uh, just you know uh, about th other things and just uh, that you're involved. A loop, a band. This is, uh, I don't know, it probably. A game, or more than one. I must say, I've, I've, of course, I've not been looking this uh, through these things um, since now. So some of them, for all for me, can also be surprise, of course. Because this is some sort of uh, stamp card. This is an Akihabara, is it? Yeah. Yes, uh, some sort of. No, I don't know what. I guess stamp, or I don't know. Doesn't matter, I have another one. Whoop, this is the. Um, what is this? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna check it out later. I guess a. Uh, I'll group. Like a big one. Like AKB48. This I got from the. Um, um, Comic Book It's. Uh, well, some of these people uh, do like uh, photography. Where it looks, it looks like it could be from a movie, or it tries to tell a a story or some kind. But it's actually just a photo shoot. These were not the only ones. There's several other people who uh, do this kind of stuff. It's it's really interesting. I, I got this because it's for me. It's really you know in, inspiring to to see what uh, how you can create a scene or you know like you want to know what's going on even though there's no uh, no writing, no, no, um, we call it, it's, it's not a story, but it totally looks uh, like one heck of an interesting story. Alright. Uh, Club kit that it's, that's supposed to be uh, live house. In Japan, there are lots of uh, so called live houses. I'm not sure. In, in, in Germany or in the Netherlands there's not so much going on with live music like over there that there's like every day, almost every day uh, a bar has live music it's like insane, I know there are some of it but you know it's um, um, for example in, in Amsterdam there might be only a few of those who would have that and in Japan you know like leave any random train station in Tokyo and you find like 10 or Maybe more live houses, and there would be definitely music playing, and there's always something that you really like. So yeah, that's like, it's insane. And these live houses, if you get your ticket there, they give you a bunch of flyers, books like these, leaflets or whatever, uh, about music, about bands, advertising for all the other live houses in the neighborhood. It's insane. And that's also why I got a lot of these papers. This group, um, um, uh, Noble Rebel, yeah, uh, they changed a bit their uh, how they look. They used to have these, these masks and uh, different costumes, but now it doesn't matter. It's uh, it's still good, you know. Otherwise, I wouldn't be uh, seeing them uh, again. Um, yeah, in the below the Tokyo Tower, they have like this one piece kind of stuff going on. It's like an indoor amusement thing, they also have a restaurant, they have like a uh, uh, shop with stuff What's this? I don't know <coughs> I have to drink a bit <coughs> Alright, so it's also, ah, also a bedtime story, you can see what I look like, not just um, I so said like not the chibi kind of art uh, she sings or she tells about something and these two are dancing in the background or doing whatever kind of uh, weirdness uh -huh. 
I don't know any of them, but it looks promising. A yeah. Probably I've never seen them, but could be promising. I've seen these before, Amelia. Um, the way they look, that's exactly how they are on stage, and they do a good damn thing. It's not just they for show; they they just they play and they dress up. You know, it's good. Mm -hmm. Have I seen these? Yeah, of course I've seen them. Say so we're playing together with uh, Akara. Tokyo. Uh, yeah, oh, this is about the islands like uh, Oshima and the others. I've been to Oshima, that's the nearest, and the other one are a bit further away. It's also the further away you want to go, the, 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 the more difficult it gets to get there. You know, like uh, waiting a, a week for a boat or an airplane or a helicopter or whatever. But I guess each of them has their own kind of charm and special places to, to visit, uh, foods and drinks to try out. That's your thing, try it out. I've been thinking like a few years of, uh, oh, should I go to uh, Oshima this year? I just fucking did it and I never regret it. This tells about the um, vanilla plants, flowers, or whatever. There are so many there, it's, it's insane. They have two places like museums or parks where you can, can see them. It's Magnificent. This one is ex actually next to the zoo. So that would be two flies in one hand or whatever you call it. Um, you can get these from the harbor or in the, one of the East Islands, I guess. It just tells about all the, the local delicacies from these islands. And this is in English, so that's perfect for those who don't speak or read Japanese. This is uh, for boarding, like where they try to tell me, like, okay, we're now here at uh, the desk, and you gotta go there to uh, the first gate where the boat is, and be there at this time because if it leaves, then you miss the boat, of course. All right, how to fill in all the the ticket stuff. This is about. Um, it's a different, oh, it's a map from a different island, but we can have a look quickly, of course. Uh -huh. A map of kind of the town, like where to stay, where to eat, and where to rent a bike or whatever. It shows, I don't know what this is, maybe like if you want to go on a tour or join uh, someone on the boat. Interesting places to uh, to see. Chris, these islands, and it's like you know, like being on some tropical place, even if it's winter. I was there in January. Um, of course, not everything is as green as it's on the on these cards. But well, this was Oshima. I haven't seen this one. I'll do that another time. Because the island is well on a bicycle. It's quite big. I've missed out on these three things here. I've, well, I've seen this, of course. I've seen this, not as green, of course. Well, seeing well, if you want to see this, you have to go back in time, or uh, <laughs> you have to go travel in the future, I guess. I've been here. I've seen this. It wasn't that green. It was like, uh, you know, when you go in the winter to the park and everything is, um, well, this this all if the grass is like this, this rotten. Uh, Slightly brown. It's it looks like that. Okay, on to the. Okay, we already did that one. Sometimes I keep doubles of things. I think it's interesting to, you know, have on uh, display when I come someplace, or I can even give it to some uh, friends if I really think it's useful to them. Some cards from cars or from Musta. Got them from a lovely lady who was there working in the. Tokyo Auto Salon, uh, this probably a, yeah, if they have a trick of each of these skulls, then this probably is an idol group. Dolls. I haven't seen them? No, I haven't seen them, no. Nope, it's uh, also a um, idol group. 
I do have a lot of these uh, other group uh, leaflets, that's because uh, they're kind of a big thing there, even in the underground. This is, um, well, I can't speak out the name, it's something with well, a tree or fish or, well, here. It's, um, try writing down and look at, oh, you can use this one. It's a three piece band. Uh, she is a drummer, she's also singing. And these two play uh, guitar and bass guitar. It's amazing. You don't know what you see. Um, Neil Finity. It's not just these two people. She sings. He plays the guitar. There's. They have like a whole band. Oh, it's like a drummer and whatever. It's. Um, it's amazing. I haven't seen these guys or did I? No, I didn't. This is. Um, oh, another. Book. Most of the time these are also for free, sometimes in the Tower Records, you know, these um, in red letters with a yellow background, like no music in life. And there's also so much of music going on there. Well, good music. Lots of. Um, all the concerts, it's like in-store events, it's, it's crazy. A lot of them are also idol groups, of course. Not only starting out ones and bands, but also big ones. I've seen Ning and Isu there for, I guess, for free, or I bought the CD and then I could grant permission to, uh, to enter or something. I've seen Bish two times, one time where they, where nobody knew them, and one time where they were quite famous. There was a big difference in uh, how many people there were. Um, something about guitar. These are... Uh, oh yes, Jam Project. I've seen them once in, um, in um, the Netherlands. Uh, they're all singers, I'm not sure if they also play uh, any instruments, but they do the the one man punch, one punch man, or they're, they're famous for uh, at least some anime uh, songs. I don't know what this is. You can check it out if you want. Uh, oh. All right. This is. Uh, Excuse me if I don't know everything that's uh, going on here, but that's just how it is. Something Gundam Wing, um, hmm. something with glasses. Yep, you are gonna need those. Nine hours. Uh, they were the, the capsule hotel. Oh, I've been to the one in um, Kyoto. I know it sounds a bit strange, being in Kyoto and not and. Visiting your Yukon, but uh, or whatever the traditional hostel is called, but like the the modern futuristic capsule hotel. I've been to one of those uh, old style things too, but you know it's expensive. So <laughs> sugar and spice. No, never seen them. Shibuya Eggman. Well, I guess it's Shibuya. Yeah, it is. It is. In what the, what place else is there to be that's called Eggman? Okay, you have Doctor Eggman, but uh, okay. Another thing with uh, you know, lots of banting going on, interviews and all. Here, Tokyo Tower of you know Tower Records, no music, no life. You see this a lot over there. Um, I, yeah, I saw these last year. They're really great. It's a must see. The sex machine guns. The name already gets you pumped up. <laughs> uh -huh. This is, uh, oh yeah, I uh, got interviews for uh, a TV uh, thing, kind of. While I was actually running for the train. Crowns. I saw them in Tokyo Tower Records. This is uh, what the hell is this? 
Look at this guy. Hmm. Okay. What the hell? Hmm. Can I have a thing like this? I have no idea what this is. Spark speaker, that's um, a group of girls, no idol. Oh, I got the signs. Nice. Also, idol group. I think I saw them with. Oh, there was this uh, one big evening with um, Lady Baby and Nick or and uh, eight other uh, groups. Empress, they're good. Uh, they're good bands. Ah yes, this is because I I got uh, well I got the CD, I got a, a check with her, and well they have these normal flyers, but because I took a check with her, she was like putting all this um, shit all over this the place and then handed me it with the the checky, so this was kind of <laughs> interesting. All right, what's this? Something with Pokemon because I see a Psyduck and an EV. Of course it's Pokemon. Oh, the, the Mystery Dungeon, I guess, if it's called uh, still that way. I've only played it uh, one time a little bit on the DS. Don't, don't, don't remember which one. This is um, a maid cafe, but it's like a Dracula style. It's, it's not your typical maid cafe, no fucking dancing or singing or whatever. It's... Um, well, the atmosphere is really good. It's uh, kind of separated, you know, like you have the, the maids, but you also have the butlers. So... If you're into one of these, you can just, you know, if you, yeah, you can just have a look there. It's, yeah, I don't know, I only had a drink, but it doesn't matter. And this is really how they look like, you know, like, it's, it's amazing. But I guess you have to be into that kind of uh, stuff, you know, like, if you're not into makeup face, you don't, don't visit, just, just... Don't. But if you're into it, you can be like, yeah, it's it's quite interesting, you know. Music, music, music. He looks like um, almost looks like you know, like Bill Juice kind of little. Um, yeah, I don't know any of them. Nakano Broadway. It's in, um, of course, in Nakano. It's you have to take the. You can get our taking the Chio line from Shinjuku, probably. Yeah, you know, the yellow line. Also the Rapid line, Chio Rapid, it's orange. Um, it's like, it's a bit like Akihabara, but it's mostly it's indoors, uh, several stories high. It's a big building next to the train station. Um, it's it's more about old. Uh, toys, like really retro, and some movie things, music, and less about anime. Although anime is also there, but it, it's more about toys. There's other things too, you know, it's like uh, people are selling cameras, uh, Rolex or so whatever. Uh, there's also a store with the, you know, the, the Warhammer kind of stuff. Games Workshop, yes. This is probably from the Tokyo Auto Salon. What's this? Uh, hmm. Oh, Tokyo, that, that Rail Pass, Japan Rail Pass. This is uh, business cards from artists who draw birds at probably the um, Comic Cat, because that's not all about uh, hentai comic books, but also lots of other artists who do lots of things. So Musicians um, giving out uh, free demos, having you listen to their music, it's it's amazing. It's not only about the entire stuff, believe me. Although, um, every day it changes, if you think like, hey, this yesterday was good, this is a good place, you know, like, oh, all these um, paper crafts, if you go there the next day, maybe all these people are gone and it's full with hentai again, so please be careful. This was... Um, well, actually, I must say, I'm not in. Uh, when I went here, I, I was. I know there's uh, this going on, the My Hero Academy, but 
I didn't um, really know about, I've never watched an episode or whatever, I saw like uh, lots of cosplay going on in the anime events, I even attended a, um, yeah, a stage play about uh, it, but to me it was like, I don't know, I got, it was like, oh I wanna have a crazy drink and I got the free coaster, you saw it, that's the, this guy. Um, well, as it happens to be, last week I saw the first episode, like, hey, yeah, and today I watched uh, a few more, so I'm, now I'm getting into it. Crescendo, it's a good um, lighthouse in Kichiyoji, Tokyo. Almost, well, the, the, this is January, it's like, you know, New Year's, uh, not so much going on here, of course. But... The other, the other days, it's like, or the February, it's really almost every time there's, every day there's something like here, there's no. I went the, um, doesn't matter, well, um, yeah. go there. This was my flight ticket. Yeah. What's this? Um, ah, the, what do you call it? This, yeah, the, the, you know what I mean. Uh, flight ticket. Another one from Crescendo, is it December? Yeah. This is December, mm -hmm. also lots of, you know, like, things that are going on. I went to this one. Leave out the no more, or leave, leave out the no. More beer. And you know why you should go there. You pay 3,000 yen, that might be 30 dollars, 26 euros, mm, 32 pounds. You can drink everything you want, the whole evening or night, I don't know until what time they last, because I leave earlier. And there's lots of, well there's not full bands playing, but there's like um, some person from some band, that's like more than 30 musicians playing together, mixed groups, and do some sets of, uh, you know, proper songs, and it's it's crazy. Everybody drinks there, not the only people who go there. Most of the time, the people who go there are the musicians themselves, and you can look around, yeah, the video, and like, oh, it just happens to be that you're, like, one of the few people who haven't been on stage from all the people sitting there. And the longer it uh, drags on, the drunker, drunkier everybody gets, and the last few songs are the best because of that. Oh, this is Oshima, by the way. Um, yeah, how big is it actually? I mean, I, I think it's like you know, like um, ten or fifteen kilometers uh, north to south, and so this is like you know, maybe six. But you got to know that it's really there's lots of hills. So it's like yeah, the zoo's here, the Camilla Garden, um, the volcano is uh, here in the middle. You can walk around here somewhere somehow. I don't. Well, you're not allowed to go with a bicycle. They sort of, uh, doesn't matter. This part was closed off because whatever kind of um, there was roadblock or. It doesn't matter, you know, it's, it's fun. They, they filmed Godzilla there, they filmed the, the original The Ring, you know, the, the, the movie uh, we, we all know from the videotape. Actually there it's like a franchise, I think there's two or even three movies and some other stuff going on. It's, if you watch the Japanese one, it makes, the, the, the American one makes more sense. Because it has a meaning, it has a meaning why the the girl in the in the well has such long hair. Because it's it's a thing from Oshima. Ah yes, the zoo. Did I didn't do this? Oh I did the stamp on the small piece of paper, okay. Yeah. Well the thing is in, in this flashy paper if you put a stamp it stays uh, wet for at least uh, two days after, so uh, that's why I probably didn't do it. And if you're, you know, it really takes a long time drying and if you're not careful and you put it back and then, you know, you have like 
Ah, fuck, he fucked it up. So I did it on the other paper. It's not a big suit, but it doesn't matter because it's totally free. Yes, you hear it. Free of charge. You can see, um, well, you start here. They have like the. Um, well, they. Uh, this is the biggest enclosure with the Lemur and the um, Barbary sheep. It's like a big volcano stone area. Um, for me, the, um, as uh, someone you know who knows about these things, Stian's red panda. Well, you don't see them every day in Europe because that's the the lesser known of the red panda. There's like the, the subspecies. It's a bit darker than the, the ones that we usually get to see and in, in Japan that just happen to a lot of time when you have when, they say, when you see the red panda it's, it happens to be the, the Steons panda. And well over here, well they don't show it here, but they do have um, the dead Japanese black pigeon, which is and like uh, Japanese local animals, it's also a thing that you don't see really much because these animals usually happen not to be um, to see elsewhere or maybe other countries near Japan but nobody's interested in getting these uh, to um, um, Europe for example so if you want to see the Japanese black pigeon I suggest you go to Japan they I think these are yeah, these are the ones who also live in Oshima, but of course I have not seen them in these two days I've been there. Um, you also have the, the Japanese green pigeon. It's either the green pigeon or the black pigeon that is known for having been seen drinking salt water, which is quite strange. But okay, you know, everything's possible. Oh, right. Stamp from the volcano. Ah, from the volcano museum. Okay, that one's. Um, it's interesting, although you're not allowed to take pictures. But uh, I took pictures everywhere, so they can shut the fuck up. Um, Shibuya Guilty, also a live house with daily live music, of course. A great place. It's small, but you know, like most are small. Toba Aquarium, Japan's biggest aquarium. It's really amazing. Well, you gotta. I gotta admit, they have the biggest collection of animals, like uh, 1,100 species or something like that. But if you, um, for example, if you go in, uh, inside um, these um, aquariums, they're like really filled up with with 10 or 20 species at a time although small species so it's not too too cropped together but, you know they probably have their 1100 species and there's also things like you know if you have for example they count the, the sea stars too and they well they really have like their fair share of really um extraordinary species they have an area with like new things or extraordinary things and you know, if you have like a, a crab this size, you know, you don't need like 12,000 cubic meter for him to walk around. Uh, if you have like a this, for this kind of crab, it's enough, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. And then you have like a sea star, you know, it sticks on the on the glass, on the stone, and it's happy. It doesn't need like uh, 12,000 square kilometers. It's okay. So some spaces are small. But you know, if it's an, uh, a thing that doesn't move that much, it doesn't matter. Come on, folks. Um, Mate Cafe. I've never been there. Or did I? No, I haven't. No, I haven't been there. This is... Uh, oh, the, the show... Well, the, the feeding schedule from the um, Sunshine City Aquarium. A lot of things to see, of course. And again, I went to the Universal Studios in Japan. They were building when I was there the Attack on Titan and stuff. I, I got a glimpse of it. I took some pictures of it, but you know, like uh, it was still kind of close. They had um, on the on some things they, you know, like 
put some bags over so you don't see directly what it was, but you could see like, okay, this is this is supposed to be uh, the the Mikasa gang with uh, Jäger, Eren Jäger and uh, that kind of guys. I mainly went for the um, Harry Potter area because uh, I wanted to get uh, some merchandise, which you can only get there. Well, from my point of view, because if you're in Europe, you, you, you well. I can order from the US, but you know it's it's stupid to do that. If I can just go to the Japan uh, the studios and get it directly, because some of the things that I got last year broke down, you know, like my uh, the wizard stick or the I don't know what other things. Are. Okay, like getting again a bit, bit more carefully, hopefully, and but also the. Well, all these stage play, I, I didn't this this time because I was eating a lot before and did eat a bit there and I didn't want to go in the rides because I can't handle them that well, as I'm not that kind of a person. But I enjoyed every stage play, I went to all these shows and that's worth of the 7000 yen, I guess. I mean, one of these shows, I mean, the one with water will like all this... You know, fire explosions, uh, fireworks, it's, it's amazing. Kyoto Tower, yeah. It's, an, it's not as nice as the Tokyo Tower or uh, Tokyo Sky Tree. You know, there's even a thing that uh, I'm not sure where I read it. It's, you know, Kyoto is like um, a classic town with a lot of old stuff, and there was a rule, uh, or well, the government said like nobody can build as high as whatever so you know they don't destroy the the classic uh, Kyoto uh, city sky view or whatever you know like that you can see all these older uh, buildings a bit better and what did the government do I believe with the Olympic Games or something of course not this year but the, um, back then they built this fucking tower which kind of destroyed the the whole view, and you know everybody was furious because there were so many companies or so many people that wanted to you know build the, the high building because um, you know you can save a lot of money if you have uh, a twenty-story house instead of uh, a ten-story building, but you know the government again didn't play by the rules so yeah they fucked up like with uh, the Narita airport and that's a different story on its own I believe it's still on YouTube somewhere just check it out Narita and it's more famously known with the music from the band Riot which totally fits the scene okay this was from the Ikone Castle, uh, this is in Shiga. I asked people from Shiga what's there to do in Shiga, and they were like, nothing. And I said, yes, you have a castle, yes, you have like a really amazing island that I didn't visit. You know, it's like um, a place where they make the, the, the best Baumkuchen in the world or something. But, yeah. You know, Uh, what is this? Um, probably from the same castle or museum. Um, is it? Can't remember. Because you know, when I go there, this time I only I only had four weeks traveling. It sounds a lot like to you, but you know, like. I plan out like, okay, I want to see this, I want to see that, but I also want to see these uh, these bands playing, and oh no, they only play on that day, and oh no, that band only plays on that day, or oh, these bands play together on that day, so I can have like two at the same day, and oh, it's, it's crazy, and then I want to meet some people, and then some people I cannot meet, because of this weird planning what I do, no, it's not easy, and every night I only have like this um, Reno, um, maybe three to five hours of sleep, 
so it's uh, it's exhausting. And there have been some days where I couldn't get on, and I was like sleeping a bit during the daytime, and then slowly went eating somewhere fancy, and then go to a concert. This is um, yeah, this is again this this weird restaurant or bar where you can shoot with. Um, these guns, oh, here they have the whole list of what they have, maybe they have some more when you come there anytime sooner but you can choose from pistols, guns, mich well, all sorts of stuff I guess it's interesting, they even have a shop gunsmith and airgun shop, okay and it's near the station, it's, it's like, you know, the Chio Doi, like in the main road Here's the, the X building, you know, the, where the stairs go up, then go there, just, here's the... If you walk out here, you see the Red Sega building, go there, and... Oh, here it is. What the hell is this? A speaker? That's a speaker? Oh, for iPhone, I would say I have a phone that has a speaker right uh, here, so... I guess you know, I have to put it on a bit different, but... Well... Happy New Year, yeah, because I was there in uh, around the, the New Year's uh, area. Keep in mind, uh, in early January, lots of things are closed, so you should uh, be aware of that. This is a small map from uh, Akiabra. This year, I, I don't know, maybe we find that one too, but there is one really good one. Which is all a bit bigger and has like almost everything that you need to know. And there's the shitty ones. Do you know Kimba the White Lion? You know Simba from Lion King? Look it up, compare it both, because this one was first. Disney. Fuck you, Disney. Okay, this is. Um, um, ah, in Nagoya. Well, I was there too, so... Uh, is this also Nagoya? Yeah, it's Nagoya. Uh-huh. Well, these leaflets are... Well, these small books are a bit... A way to handle, I must uh, say that. Tokyo, this is a drum band or whatever. I haven't seen them because I had other plans. The robot restaurant is really weird. It's um, maybe you should just see a, a video on YouTube to decide if you want to go there or not. I think that's better. It's expensive, but you know you can. Uh, for I think it's like six thousand yen or five thousand. But if you're a foreigner, maybe you can get something off. If you're um, look for a, Tokyo Time Out uh, magazine, and usually in every magazine they have like uh, a small uh, area in their magazine where it says like um, cut out this piece of paper and show it, and you get a 1000 yen off from the, the robot restaurant or something. Akihabara. Well, the thing is, if you get an if you get one for English speakers, you only get like the, the shitty things on it, like only a few things, and that's what I don't like. Probably because the normal tourists are not used to see what they see if they go like everywhere. So I guess it's to play it safe, but if you're not a normal tourist like I am and you want to see everything, get a Japanese one, try to read the katakana or try to make out what the hell is uh, going on, or just Go into just use every door you're allowed to use and just see for yourself if you like what you see or not. You can always exit again if you no, don't like it. Um, okay, it's an island. It's a different island. I do like these island hopping trips, but I don't like waiting for a plane or a ship one week, so that's why I'm probably never gonna do it. 
What is this? Yoda. Hmm. This is probably a bag full of stuff from the Tokyo Auto Salon. Well, this was really rich. They had this car on this plate. It was a prototype, of course. Well, I suppose it's a prototype. I was sitting in it. I wasn't, well, could not really like you know, drive in it, but they were showing some videos of it. And I'm not a really car driver, but you know, you cannot see through the back window. It's like really small, and you're, uh, I can if, like. You can only see properly when you look on a small um, video screen, like they have a camera, and I, I think that's just plain shit, you know, like, you gotta be able to look behind you and see outside of a window and not rely on a, um, a camera, and I don't know, it's, it's... If you're gonna go with that kind of design, then you also don't need these windows, and you can have, like, don't see anything, only cameras. If you're that kind of designer, but I don't know. I'm not a car designer, so ah yes, they have like um well the other one is of course about cars, but there's so much other things going on. There's like well one day for the press and two days for normal people. It's like Gamescom, you know. Um, for example, they have um, something going on like um, famous people uh, arriving there. There's even a model show. There's uh, live music going on in the, um, in the dome stage. Um, is there from? It's from Friday. For example, I have to do like this. For example, well, this was from. Well, price uh, Saturday. Well, I didn't see any of them this year because for me they were not so good. I went to other things, but you know, if something fits, then you could go there. They even have like um, oh, this was the music. And here they have like uh, a drifting course and whatever. It was test driving, which I did. See, I think I, yeah, did, yeah, this year or last year, but yeah, you know, last year, but this year they removed the, the fences so you could really have a better look at uh, the cars drifting, and it's it's amazing. And well, it's not only the, the, the newest cars that have like really weird designs, like this, for example, this one, and just like. Also a bit of cosplay. This was used to be the, um, you know, um, well, this is not even the finished one. They had that like, uh, whole fully finished um, over there with the Cinderella story going on. There's even a Cinderella cosplay. In it. It's it's not just normal cars. It's like all these crazy designs. There's also well, people standing next to the cars, the, uh, both male and female. So you can also take. Uh, have pictures of, but yeah. So even if you don't drive a car, it's it's still really amazing. There was even um, a thing from uh, Sony, no, from uh, Nokia, and I was like, whoa, what the hell is going on? I thought that, 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 that you know, like cell phones, and then they explained to me like that uh, they kind of split up somewhere along the way and uh, one part of Nokia is making car parts now so that's well interesting I didn't know that and there's even um, glass, special glass at the moment where if, if it's um, getting too hot then it's it's still cool in your car you know like your car doesn't heat up in the summer if it's if it's parked in the sun and I think that's well it's of course really expensive but I think yeah that's that's something that's really useful, you know, like, yeah, or anti, anti, uh, well, um, that if you put your, 
uh, food in the car or su well they explain with sushi that it doesn't um, you know slide around uh, in your car if you're driving you can have your drinks and your foods in between your seats and it stays there and doesn't uh, slide off when you're driving a car and that's also something that yeah that's useful this is probably Kami Cat or Akihabara don't know what it is but you could uh, check it out if you want this is probably a stage play in Japan I've never seen one in Japan but I have seen a lot of them in Germany I, def I don't know if there's in other countries in, in the Netherlands, for example, if there's, there's no such thing as stage play. No, no, no. Seeing these stage plays in Germany, they are like you know, um, made for fun on a low budget, but they're really creative and they they're really good at it. Some of these groups exist for over ten years, and for in Japan, when there's like a budget, I guess it's a must see. But I should check it out one time. Maybe you can recommend. A group or a place where I can see those. Oh, we've been to this one before. Well, a double. Uh, what is this? Zwei. Zwei. There, a must see. I've got a CD from them, but I, I miss out seeing them. What's this? Oh, it's Zwei. Yeah, you can check it out. Uh huh. Hmm. Magazine about what? Magazine for rock kids. Hmm. I don't know. It looks. Um, it looks nice. Mm hmm. A game. Okay. Hmm. He looks nice. It looks like... Well, they say it's a game, but... It could be real... Nice if there's something else than just these... Uh, uh, Bang Dream or... Uh, these... You know, there's K-On or something. It would be a nice touch if there would be an anime like this. Like, different kind of music. But again, if you do, are uh, gonna do a band and a I mean, don't be too simple, you know. Like these guitars, you know. Why not try out a Flying V or a Warlock Beast or a BC Rich or these kind of stuff? But, um, okay, I should, uh, yeah. This is exactly what I mean. Like you know, uh, be a bit different. I hope they're getting at it. Uh huh, uh huh. Who is Bamboo? I don't know. Well, okay. On to the next. Don't know what this is. We might end up getting into some cringy stuff, but I don't care because I'm already sold my soul to the devil, so. It looks innocent, but it's actually not. Custom order made 3D. This is this part two. It is uh, well. I remember it's play. It also be able on the PlayStation 3, maybe now a four or Xbox. 3, uh, and it comes with. Um, it looks like the PlayStation Move. But you know it, it's hollow from the inside. I don't have to tell him more about it because I think you probably know where this is going. <laughs> okay, this is yeah, this is kind of the cringy part. Well, now we're off into the Nintendo part with the Pokemon card game, where they explained, uh, you know. 
how the card does, how to play the game. I remember having this kind of instruction book which was really thick back in the year 2000 or so. Hmm, Sony is making toys. Okay. Looks like a board game. Hmm, I don't know what it is exactly, how it works, but it looks promising. Iron Man VR for the PlayStation VR, of course. They do have, it looks like they have a bit more VR titles in Japan than we have in Europe, which is a shame, but it can't be helped. I have this one, it's nice, the one with the Astro Bot. A Japanese Lego book. Well, there's some you know Lego YouTubers out there who go through these. I have some from these from the Europeans. I can tell you that it is different from what we have in, in Europe because they have one for boys and they have one for girls. And for example, if you turn out to open your first pages, you know it. Look where it starts with Lego, not with Duplo. You know, it's a bit different. You can go through it a lot here. The um, no, it's not Technic and then Yago. You know, like the everything that you know is it's all there. There's the Minecraft, the, the Star Wars. Like most of the time, is in like the the last team. And then you have the Technic, yeah, that's, I, I don't know why, it's, it's always been that way in Europe, at least. Doesn't matter, but, but you know, like, okay, yeah. And then they, well, here they end with Creator, which is normally in the beginning, after Duplo, most of the time. So, it is a bit different. Um, it's a more... <laughs> It's a motorcycle with um, diamonds on it. I have probably seen it at um, Tokyo Outlanders. Also, um, I don't know the, the the company, but they have like uh, pink cars with uh, diamonds. Oh, the battery was uh, empty. Sorry about that. This is Rolling Sphere. I don't know what it is. Probably a game. I probably uh, found this in the. Um, Comic hat, you know, it's there's also the um, area with where the big companies are, Kadokawa, Sega, and whatnot, where they display their newest things. This, well, it, it looks nice, but I don't know what it is. It's probably some. Is it a cell phone game? Yeah, Android, iOS, whatever. Here, have a look, if you want. That is. It looks nice, but you know I don't. I'm not into these cell phone games. You know where most of the time you have to pay for it a little bit. I mean, I like the design. You know, it's it's really inspiring, but yeah, it's not so right. This is oh Neko works. This is what I got the sticker from. Not for sale because oh, this probably was just like a giveaway. Um, yeah, it's a. What do you call it? these visual storytelling book stories? A different outcome. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah, back in the Grinchy stuff. Oh, not yet. Aha, uh -huh. lots of uh, cosplay and uh, merchandise and well. Project Noah, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, looks like. Uh, a game, oh yes, the word I was looking for was a visual novel, probably. Um, this is, um, sorry but I don't know. Is this something in uh, Akihabara? Maybe a stem rally or something, or they... Oh, I don't know. This is... Um, hmm. Singular Dolls, uh, oh, um, Dolls Frontline. 
It's probably very uh, famous, but I haven't played it yet. Shame on me. And this is, uh, I don't know. Just have a quick look. A bit of artwork. Mm -hmm. Looks uh, not too bad. So it's quite. It's actually really amazing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, and then you have to, like you know you have to be a bit careful sometimes because you have the, this design and you have also like this design and yeah, you know probably you mostly know where this is going, but not here. Ah yes, New Year's and um, oh gee, that's uh, well, yeah, it's it's also in Tokyo but it's a bit north. Um, there's like um, all these people dressed up as uh, foxes where they well there's no fireworks but when uh, when it's uh, new year they're gonna go from from here and it's gonna walk around blah 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 to this shrine and be like yeah celebrating music a lion dance and whatnot it's amazing to see who <coughs> loudness? Everybody knows loudness, and that's why it's sold out already. Good for them. Mm. All right, move on. You pin. Oh, it says here. You pin. I don't know how it's supposed. To. I think it's attitude. I don't know. I uh, just. We got this from the airport when I landed. It. It's it shows like um, things that you can do or eat or try out or whatever. It's I must have been browsing through this um, very quickly. And be like, okay, this looking interesting. Might go there or might try this out or that, and then left it. This is another one of those. Well, it's a good thing if if you land in the airport that you grab. Uh, well, if if you're into it, you know, of course you can grab all these books for free or flyers, and you're like, oh, this is nice. You can try this out or that, or visit this place. Or they also one time at, um, in one of these books they told me about the um, the Panasonic. Um, what was it? It's like the, some sort of um, stage, but you were also involved in it. It was amazing. Look at that. It was something with, with the Panasonic uh, Bang or Gak or I don't know. Something with trains. Yeah, in Japan, there's lots of really nice small trains, like train rides where it's like the train itself is like really comfy. I've been doing that in the uh, north from um, Kyoto, where there is um, one of these three really beautiful uh, parts uh, to see. I, that train looked like a fancy living room kind of. Aphrodite. I don't know them, but they look like they know what they're doing. So I will check them out later. Velvet Cherry, I I don't know if I've seen them, but maybe. I know they've been playing in the Crescent um, Park. Maybe I've seen them one time, or maybe I just missed them, I don't know. Frain, I have seen them only one time, unfortunately, but they're really decent. They're, yeah, it's really nice too. They're, they're, they're good. They're good people too. I remember when I saw them, it was one of those first times I went to these concerts. You know, there were like there were six or eight bands playing uh, one night, and then there was like um, people like the, the, the bass guitar from here and the drummer from there, and the singer was like, hey, you wanna go to um, karaoke bar? And like, yeah, sure. And then uh, we just went. Mask late. You know, sometimes 
Well, I'm not sure what kind of music they make, you know, by the way they look, like, yeah, I'm gonna check it out, you know, like, well, it's, it's good to just not go there fully blindly, but, you know, just check them out and if you think, like, no, this is interesting, and just go there, you know, like, uh, they, are, they ever hardly play alone, so there's always uh, a bonus involved if you didn't check out the other bands that were playing. Olivia Sugar, um, if I remember it correctly, it's like, you know, your your classic um, 80s LA New York uh, metal, hair metal scene. They, well, the singer for some of like these, you know, these fingerless uh, leather gloves that go like until here and with the, the small scarves on the microphone stand and swinging the microphone stand around all the time it's it's so classic like yeah it's nice ah oh, yeah as you can see it here a bit better like the yeah and here she had something uh, well it's amazing it's nice yeah this is the time of tokyo we were talking about if you find one of those just grab them fight for it if you have to but this one has a lot of um, Nice information in it. Also, what I said about um, the the robots, uh, the yeah, robot cafe or something. Cut this one out, and you get, uh, for example, with this one. Mm -hmm. It's even two thousand yen off. Coupon number seven. Maybe I, it's like issue number seven. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it shows a lot of, you know, it shows a lot of things to do, you know, like, yeah. Which is, I mean, of course, you can always try to find us yourself, but there's always something that you might miss, and then this magazine helps you in, if, if it's necessary. Alright, then we have... Mm -hmm. I could use this for a video. Things to do. And keep that apart. Alright, back with something from the Tokyo Auto Salon. Falcon on the pulse. Yes, all their cars look like this. They even have uh, had an airplane, just like a one-person airplane with, uh, with the same design or something. It's nice. Another one from the... Well, we already had that one. What the hell is this? Ah, yes, also from the car, from the Tokyo car salon. Uh, sometimes they... Well, they, for example, I don't know if there's like a car company or something based in an area in Japan, they also make advertisement for that area. For example, like, hey, check out this. And then you can travel to the through these nice woods and, you know, help out the local people with collecting... You know, the, 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 yeah, if you're into that stuff, be my guest. This is Hudson Miku um, Drivable uh, Bakery Store. Not sure why it is here, but they were. Well, their stand was like basically this car, and they had like here all this merchandise on the other side too. And well, that was it. Yeah, you can buy this one like it's a small one or something yeah, yeah. they have different uh, small cars and styles of course and it's kind of i don't know or did they well i don't remember if i if they have this one in in big too probably but, you know there's, there's so many cars there it's it's um can't remind remember every car every car there is amazing um, yeah, they call it Rocky, but they should have called it Highway to Danger. All this is the you know. What's this? Yeah, as you see, I'm really into cars, so I'm really browsing through this as quickly as I like this stuff. Yep. Yep, this is ah oh, shit. Tokyo Festival. Hmm. Oh, this is um, probably 
Yeah, the traditional crafts of Tokyo. Every time in the winter, like somewhere in January, you, in a few days you can see these traditional crafts. Unfortunately, lots of these crafts are dying out because, strangely, the people who do this kind of thing, they get older, they die out, and it seems to be that in Japan, none of the younger people is interested in keeping it up, and yeah, if the old people who do these crafts have no successor, and they get sick and die, then these crafts are lost forever. Who is to blame? Well, you can ask that yourselves. But luckily there are at least five of these dying out crafts that are, well, they are trying to hold it high somewhere in Germany. So, who could you see you, Germany, for helping out? It's like, you know, it's environmental stuff, you know, like some local, somewhere in the bimbu, some local small bird that's been eating and hunting and nobody gives a shit about it, even though it's almost hunted to extinction, and then, then there's like some faraway country like England or Germany who tries to um, breed these animals to prevent them from being extinct and the locals don't give a fuck and that's always happening as long as we exist hmm what is this? Hmm, this one looks interesting. I can tell you that. Oh, this is from uh, Ueno Zoo. Yeah, this is Ueno Zoo. Um, yeah, Ueno Dobson. This is. Uh, oh. I'm going to have a sip of water. <clears throat> Alright, this is uh, also with the island South Tokyo. You can see here, it's ocean again. And if you're going here, you're a badass. I guess. Yep. And this is... Um, hmm. Ah, Oshimazu, there was an, this is, uh, what was this, uh, loop? Garden, um, oh, it's the, um, yes, it's the Camilla Flower Garden. Um, yeah, it's the garden. This lets you have a look at Mount Fuji. It was a really nice place to uh, have a sit down for 10 minutes and then go on again. What's this? Oh. this is next to the cra uh, Tokyo Crafts uh, thing. It's it's not from the same thing, but they just happen to have the sh uh, store next there and they, they sell all these things. Um, it's part of the. Um, you know, there's this, it's either called Children's Day or Girls' Day, where you have like, um, like these steps with different people and... But these are really like, you know, not everybody buys them. You see how these two things, they cost about this amount of yen. You know, it's like two zeros gone. Well, uh, about 4,000 euros. And good luck buying that. For your children. Easy Oshima guide map, you can get them from any tourists, uh, whatever stuff if you're landing there by boat or by airplane or helicopter. It shows what to do where. It's partly English, partly Japanese, free Wi Fi. Damn, I should have known that before. Because I didn't, I was always like. 
you know, taking a screenshot of Google Maps and be like, hmm, must be something here, must be some, must be somewhere over there, and then um, drive, uh, go on the sun or have a look like, hmm, I think I'm the right way. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's with, sometimes with these be active go outside advertisements that I don't like there it's too much over the top, you know like the, everything is like the, the shoes, the, the clothing, the helmet, the backpack, the, the, the bicycle like it, it's like too much professional like mm, walking shoes, mm, walking trousers, walking jacket or yeah you know how I went there or let me tell you how I how we went to Norway climbing the mountains over there. Well, not like with ropes, but you know, like yeah, rubber boots, a denim jeans, a t-shirt or a leather jacket, a small backpack with a bit of water that we, if we run out of water, we would just fill it up from the river, and. A photo camera and that's it. And a bit of food. Yeah. And a random stick for walking if it was necessary. Yeah. This is a uh, rip. You should uh, totally check it out. Natsum is a really good drummer. Oh. It's a clear file for four files of paper from the racing Miku. I got it from the Tokyo Auto Saloon as um, Tobu uh, Aquarium. But, uh, it also shows like what you can uh, see. They, have, oh, they also have mammals, you know, like and you can see mammals and they have well, land mammals. They have the capybaras together with the, um, the red ibis and some fish. It's it's amazing. It's, it's fun to see. Um, I've been to their shops, not in the restaurants, but in the shops they have like there's you know like the, they're selling like plushies of animals that you've never seen before. That's kind of cool. This band, Art Royal, I've never seen them, but they look they look good. Akara, here you can see what it looked like. I've seen this one before. But this is um, the group. It's amazing. It's it's like um, they mix uh, traditional Japanese music with, um, you know, like rock. Or, yeah. Because uh, they have like. Um, how you call it? That it's these people together with. Um, a guitarist, bassist, and uh, a drummer, and they play together. And the sound—it's well, I, I've never heard something like that before, and it's—it's it's really amazing. It's yeah. Well, I must admit, on well, on the CD, it's uh, you know the, the the sound is a bit better because, of course, when there's like uh, the the drummer and the, the guitarist, and then uh, yeah. It, it's difficult to to try to be louder with uh, the koto or with mm, this one or with the flute. So it's of course it's a bit difficult sometimes when I'm performing live. But these these are um, near perfect, if not perfect. This uh, they call themselves Crazy Vodka Tonic. I like that. Tube Aquarium. Largest number of species in Japan, yeah, I've told, already told you about it. 11,000, uh, what, no, 1,100 species. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a must be if you're a species hunter. And this was in the. Um, yeah. Probably from. Um, well, oh, yeah. This is, um, I could. Hmm. 
It's not my hair. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Probably. Nico's hair. Um. But yeah, I got it. This is like the the set list when they were playing in um, Shibuya Guildly. The songs they were playing, and they sign it, which is like, wow, it's really nice. Yeah. Really. I keep these things. Whole bunch of these things. Um, yeah, some idol groups. For those who like that, here have a quick look. You can pause it if you want. See if there's something that interests your diff uh, your mind and uh, look it up. Nagoya Commander. Yeah. This is. Uh, what is this? Dolly Magic Mom Cookie. Oh my god, it's that kind of cosplay. <laughs> There's some people who are into this. Well, I'm not one of them, but for me it's interesting, you know, to see that it exists. I have seen it uh, a couple of times live as well in Japan, as outside in Japan. I've seen it in, in Germany as well. I know a person who, who does this kind of stuff. It's. You know, like, everybody can do what they want, right? I mean, it's it's not too different from normal cosplay. I mean, there's, there's all like the, the Lolita scene, is like all kinds of different stuff. You know, like, this is also weird. I know there's also the, the one eye uh, kind of... Yeah, here it is. What with the one eye? I haven't seen it live, but I know it exists. I know it is at the... We have this one before. It's the the Feti Fest, like the, the fetish festival, which is held two times a year in um, Tokyo. What the hell is this? Girls on Panzer on ships, or what? Hmm. Probably. I suppose I got it too from the Comic Cat. Uh, Blood Scene. That's. Uh, I guess that's good. Fate Great Grand, uh, Fate Grand Order. It's, uh -huh, it's an anime series. It's also um, a game in the Sega arcade, which is it's kind of nice. It's, you know, it's it's one of those um, where you have to combine with the cards, and it costs a lot of money to play it. Really good, you know, like putting in all the yeah. yeah. But it's like you know. At least they uh, they try out something different, you know. Ah, this is... wait. Huh? What? Wait. Oh, yeah. Why did it get two? Oh wait, this is a different one. <laughs> this is just from uh, when I saw them in Crescendo, Kijoji. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Free fog. Oh, we already had this one. This is. Um... Well, it's cars, but some. Oh, that's why. Okay. No, it's just cars. This is. Uh... What is this? Um... This is also canon. Yeah, also canon. This is Nagoya. This is a weird place. It looks well. It's I don't know. You have to go there, grab a flyer, a little bit, enjoy yourselves. Is this Transformers? Mm. What's this? Oh yes, these have uh, cookies and they have a. Um, um, a small card, like a waffle. You can find them in the, um, in the 7 Eleven or something on the Lawson. This is uh, from the Square Enix Cafe a sticker. And this is, um, hmm, I don't know. It's, uh, I uh, spontaneously have forgotten how I got it. <coughs> the Flying Postman Press. Ah, yes. Good music in winter movies. 
trip house. Nice. Heavy trip. Anybody heard about it? I haven't seen it yet. Um, it's like a small newspaper, but it's only about music. Now that's something. Or maybe music, movies too. Yeah, movies too. Okay. And this is about uh, yeah, the one with the Hitler bunny or something. Like that. Like, uh, it's okay. Good. We've been watching. That. Now it's getting a bit messy. We have a these. Oh shit! The place is full of flies right now. Um, I don't know who these are. This looks a bit uh, weird. This is uh, I don't know. Aki. Um, well, this is. Um, a book, well, a magazine every month you can get free everywhere, almost everywhere in um, Akihabara. It's, um, oh, well, it used to show um, people with, uh, with clothes on, not so much, but it uh, doesn't matter. It's about uh, weird stuff in Akihabara. Tokyo game should uh, imagine uh, normally this part and this part and then full with pictures like this and this and then with um, you know like less clothing. <clears throat> you didn't hear that from me. Basically some Nice looking people who go on an adventure in Akihabara or nearby and they experience all these things you can do there if there's a interesting shop or whatever they will go there and make a bit of advertisement like a, a review or something this is uh, I don't know oh yes I went this from the suitcase um, right map from uh, Hiroshima this is um, I don't know, so. I'm trying to wrap it up, but it's kind of uh, a lot here still. Um, yeah, if you go to uh, the. What well, it does, it doesn't matter. It's like, there's a lot of uh, Shin Yamaguchi station walkway. There's like a vertical garden and they explain like what plants grow there. Tokiwa Park, it's a zoo, but not. It's. Um, well, Tokyo Rock Park is not only a zoo, it's like a whole kind of something, it's like a whole, whole park. This is a zoo. This is the Coal Mining History Museum, this is like um, some flower park here. There is, I don't know what this is, I, I had to go, there's like lots of birds here. This, uh, let's see, there was an island you could... Ah, here, this is an island with a small shrine. There were no people there, so when I was standing still, there were so many wild birds um, starting to chatter away and flying around. It was really like, whoa, new species that I've never seen. Pelican Islands, nah. Um, lots of outside art, which is watchable for free. Inside, they have an art museum, which you have to pay, of course. Um, it goes on and on and on. Camellia Garden. Here, stuff to do. It's, it's you could spend the whole day there. I only had a time for not the whole day because uh, I wanted to go to the um, somewhere else too at the same time. It was a bit of uh, whoa shit running around the whole day and night. Um, stamp rally from the train stations in Tokyo. The sign it was um, from Gundam Wing. Every train station exit has um, an area where you can get a stamp, and in the end you can... Well, I got one here, because I, well, you know, like, where I got out. Is it the yeah, Aminim Senji where I got, uh, got out? Like, you know, like, you just get one for fun, and... There's an... Uh, in Akihabara there's a cafe with uh, Gundam and stuff, I'm not sure if it's the same... Oh, in Tokyo, sorry. Well, they do have one in Akihabara too, but maybe this could be a pop-up store special. Okay, this one... Well, I told you about this. 
this is um, an art. This is uh, I don't know where. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. A map with um, uh, it's not the real wheel, but it's the subway wheel, subway, yeah. And this is, the, this is the most powerful map you can get in uh, from Akihabara. Well, this time they made a smaller one, unfortunately, but usually it's twice as big, and of course twice the amount of um, stuff to tell you about. But for example. For example, um, if you're looking for a maid cafe, this pink, this pink section, that's all maid cafes. Well, all maid cafes that are featured on this map, and there's many more. So you should get the point by now why you should go for this map and not any other one. And they sorted it out. I mean, there's like. Uh, on the chance to, um, we can get beer, we can get your cosplay, idle stuff, um, fig figures and doll stuff, uh, Tore trading cards, and yeah, it's it's really it's magnificent. Tokyo traps, this, this, yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. This is, um, hmm. It was a bit weird, the concert. <clears throat> yes, you get the point. This is um, also like smoking with music. Okay, I was almost afraid I would see something that I didn't want to see. Akao Itani. She's really uh, amazing in doing what she does. Actually, a one man band or one woman band playing guitar and singing and having, um, you know, like uh, other instruments in the background playing by, you know, however they do that. Um, oh, I don't remember if I've seen her or not. Um, no, I don't think so. Right, what is this here? Rooftop. I guess it's only wild guess you now. Music, of course, it's music. Different bars where they have music to know, like, okay, you should go here and there and that and that way. And it's amazing. This is, it looks like, well, it's also rooftop, so it's music. Yep. Okay. A newspaper from. Tsunigi. Oh no, from the Comic Cats. Number 97. Well, it just makes like, you know, like, oh look, new anime, oh look this, oh look, merchandise. Like, it has like four pages, so it's not too, um, there's not too much stuff going on here. But hey, it's new. This was empty, there was uh, inside of it a really big uh, pop card that for this one that I've already put. Um, in the room, you can also use some lights uh, to make it more amazing. This is your holy bible if you're looking for uh, maid cafes. Um, they, well, they also, I guess, they do other things too. But all these are maid cafe cuss. Yeah, put them there. They, um, oh my god, what's going on here? Okay, they also do like normal restaurants, I guess, and a bit of like cosplay and photo shooting areas, trading cards. I guess they're gonna do lots of things from all around Akiya. What the hell is going on here? I don't know. Mm. Ah, here's the. Uh, then this is probably the maid cafe section. Uh -huh. Well, as I said, if you're looking for a maid cafe, you can grab one of these and be like a maze in some kind. Oh, this is, uh, <laughs> I went to this uh, 
made cafe. Well, it's kind of a, a bar. I could say it's the best. Yeah. Well, it depends on your taste. If you're interested in, in made cafe, but you don't want to have like the cringy stuff, then this is a cafe for you because it doesn't have the cringy stuff. The well, there's like you know the. Uh, how you call it, like the, a small amount of people who go there a lot of times, like the, the local uh, customers they're normal people, not some crazy otaku, you know, like it's it's different, you know, like there's cool people coming, so if you're not, in, if you don't like Moi Moi Q, then but you want to check out Medical Aid, then this is the one you should go tell them I sent you yeah, that's exactly. This is the complete opposite of the, the other one. Like all the the moi moi Q stuff, and this is like well, they do they ch change sometimes. I guess their customs. I, I guess there's like um, I think I saw on Twitter that they did some, for example, New Year's or whatever. But yeah, it's um, it's a good one. Guitar cuteness. Blah, blah, blah. This is um, all about uh, Akiva. Like, um, I took a picture of her actually in 2015. I'm not with with her, but of her. So yeah. She also visits lots of uh, different uh, places. Akiva is also known, of course, for all the electronic stuff. So yeah, of course, yeah, that includes where you can get your best chipsets for whatever uh, you want to do. Um, yeah, where you do, you, or can you eat some good food? Where can you, well, basically, different stuff. Uh, yep. All right, this one, there is something inside of here. I'm gonna, I have to destroy this nice. Uh, no, it's, I didn't destroy it. Okay, good. Probably postcards with a business card. Who made this? This person, Sin Gamer, yeah, because I really like this design. Like this, um, I don't know what these birds are called, but you know, like the really distinctive is that they have around their eyes these white um, circles. You can find them many places in Japan. I saw them in Tokyo a lot of times. And in Kyoto, yeah, it's just, it's really beautiful. It's gonna have a nice place in my room. Um, yeah, this is um, probably postcard from Tokyo Tower with something else. Um, is it these two or yeah, it's just these two. I really like this one because it shows like a bit of the old Japanese style and you know like the, the cranes. Which I've seen in the wild, and well, I liked the design of this. So, yeah, it's a piece of um, cloth that I uh, got from the Tokyo Crafts Fair. And this is a ticket from the Sumida Aquarium. That is the one that's down from the um, Tokyo Sky Tree. Um, what's this? This is yeah. All right. Uh, these are stickers from um, oh, what is her 14 Hanamichan? Um, it's um, something for a different time. What's this? Brighter, Brian uh, Rayola. I am sorry to tell you that I forgot what it was, but it's, it's something with uh, live music. Mary Freaks, it's um, who are these again? Oh, yes, uh, a band. Here are some of the yeah, Lipstick is a good band to see, you really should see it. Uh, Saint Universe, um, the cafe that I talked about, it's so just like you know, that's the train tickets, it's, um, flight tickets, oh, some stuff that doesn't belong here, unfortunately. <laughs> This is uh, my uh, 
the diary which I write again in uh, next year well probably maybe if I go in uh, um, December then it's this year some well, two stamps I put another of the Japan Lopez because I had to take two of them what the hell is this um, wait some things here mixed up I see um, Hiroshima well if you go there you should definitely check out everything this is really where I am but don't tell anybody this is uh, yeah, the um, taxi driving cap some more advertisement of um, oh yeah the lifehouse lion um, this is a really uh, they have lots of nice uh, concepts too I have not seen these, I have not seen these Nope, but they look interesting Like, what the hell is going on? It's like... F f I don't know if it's Visual K or... I don't know What this looks like, it's... That's the thing with Visual K, you know, I've been two times to a Visual K concert so it and it's like, you know, these, these guys really look damn amazing, I must say myself. And, well, you know, the, the people who go there, you know, um, the first time I went there, I was the only guy. The second time I went there, I was not the only guy, but there was only just this one other guy there. And he was uh, taking, uh, well, okay, he had like... Um, a pass and he was taking uh, lots of pictures in front with a really big camera so I probably not really um, just look at the band it's, it's like it's like you're standing in the middle of a bunch of small high school school girls and I don't know it's um, it's something that I should probably tell about in a different video about the music scene that's going on there it's and this was in Hiroshima. Le Legend of the Dildo. Because the, 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 um, there's this one guy, uh, him the singer, of the Dildo Kingdom, it's a band. He is um, doing too much project. He's doing this, he's one of these, he is over here. He's doing this stuff, he's doing Rosenkreuz. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, a bit weird, but it makes it also really interesting. This is um, the zoo. Oh, wait a minute. It's, uh, oh, it's from the um, yep, Tokiga Dobutsen. But hmm, I don't remember this tropical area in the winter time. Uh, we're almost done here. Don't worry. Ah, yes, this this place. Near Hiroshima, Miyajima, which is really, um, yeah. If you ever happen to be nearby, go there. But that now because they're doing construction work on this one, so it's completely covered with shit. You don't see it. It's wrapped and yeah. Uh, be sure that it's. Um, that this thing is visible when you want to go there because right now or when I was there in January you couldn't go there it looks like they have a lot of festivals in other park, other times of the year when I am not here I see now that they have on that this is their New Year's event knowing this now I would say not only for you but for me too go check it out Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Alright, Uncrowned King. Looks like fish okay. Might be. But they all look like that kind of music. Or in the style of it. Which, of course, doesn't matter. It's just, yeah, a bit surprising for me. Team's Battle. I'm not sure. I don't like the front. I don't know what it is. Yeah. This was um, a gallery where they showed um, pictures who were 
taken by US soldiers from the sang there or from the airplanes. Some of them are also like top secret. It's amazing. This bridge is amazing. You should some people really want to visit. Um yeah, this place is probably something I would like to visit next time, next year. Uh-huh. Lots of things to do. Whoop. Okay, almost to the end, we have the Rabbit Islands, we have uh, Rabbit Islands, we have a um, streetcar from Hiroshima, yep, Yamaguchi, the Kyoto of the West, yeah, they're right about that, I mean, I didn't, I have seen this train, but it wasn't riding, um, yeah, it's, it's took, you, um, that place is where they have the Tokiwa Zoo, Hiroshima, Herb, yeah. Miyajima Light, like uh, Loop, Tokiwa Park, yep, yeah. they're already Tokiwa Park again. The the coaling mine industry, like I have seen it from the outside, they didn't really went inside because they didn't have time. This is uh, a towel that I got for free. As a New Year's gift in the um, uh, Oshima in, in the karaoke bar here at Tokiwa uh, Park. And this is um, where they try to explain um, what they are, what they were handing these out when they were doing um, construction. They probably felt like, oh no, this is rotting away. We have to do something about it before it's completely destroyed. So. Yeah, please, before it really happens. Um, mm -hmm. Alright. Peace declaration. Uh -huh. Who is she? I don't know. More music going on. This is the sex machine guns. Oh, I told you before, which you should definitely see. Smack. It's about music. Which is... Good. This looks really well. Like not fast. Because slip. Now that's something. Not fast. And who's coming? Slip not. And on the second day, who's coming? Ooh. Slip not. <laughs> Alright. Another guy. There's a figure of something. Kasama. A place you can go to. Probably got this from whatever tourist uh, area thing. Oh, of course, when they were doing advertisements in uh, Tokyo Tower. Snow Miku, Iron Maiden coming to uh, Japan. I've seen them two times already. Band Battle, this is uh, whatever, something. Um, they look interesting. Don't know what kind of music they make. I mean, piano. Drums and contrabass. I mean, what can you do with these three instruments? And that is exactly why I like these Japanese bands because they just do what nobody thinks of. Just even uh, from ah the Falcon. It's like this game company who is like, you know, they, they've uh, asked a band for making music and this is a rock band and they have a, a person playing the violin too, like, wow, like, there's like solos where they have the, the guitar playing something and the violist doing the same thing, but on the violist style and they, it's like in the, some songs they are constantly like, the, the, the guitar, the violin, the guitar, like, they're pushing themselves up, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. What else is this? Uh, sesame? Oh, I don't know. Well, if you want to know, you can check it out. I'll check it out tonight. Um, yes. All right. I don't know who these are, but you can check it out if you want. What's this? Um, probably from the Castle Museum. I guess. Yeah. Same thing here, but bigger. Probably about all the other stuff that's going on here in, the, in town and nearby and where to go next and yeah, probably. Akko Itini. Well, it's 
Also my last of uh, the leaflets. Interesting. It ends with Ako Itani because, uh, well, she's also one of my favorite musicians uh, whenever I go to Japan. Here you can check it out. She calls herself like the, you know, the cosplay uh, guitarist. Oh yeah, she does. This is here because she has always well most of the time when I see her I mean I see her only one or two times a year a different uh, costume while playing this is her mascot um, Takos Chan even if a oh good. Even have a two shirt uh, for her. <laughs> Which that was chat. So there you have it. I'll be saying uh, goodbye for now and uh, until uh, next time with um, something completely different. Goodbye.